Hello this is D and I'm back with another video. Well a couple of weeks ago I did a video covering the QLED line of televisions for 2018. Now I stated that they would have variable refresh rate technology and that it would be implemented later by a firmware update. Now today Samsung announced at its technology congress in Milan that the TV will have free sync support as well. Now I'm going to read a little bit of the article here and like usual I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now the article states that in 2018 the QLED line of TVs as well as the mid-range NU8000 will support refresh rates up to 120Hz at Full HD resolution. The 2018 Samsung TVs will support two variable refresh rate systems on top of that. Now if you're a PC gamer, you can use AMD FreeSync and your PC or compatible console will remain in sync. Now FreeSync is one of the systems supported by Samsung's new TVs, meaning that you can use them as a capable gaming monitor for your PC. Now there is also the HDMI 2.1 models and these can support variable refresh rate. Now this is the HDMI organization's standardized version that pretty much is FreeSync but intended for televisions. Now right now Samsung's 2018 TVs do not feature full HDMI 2.1. These TVs are still based on the HDMI 2.0 interface standard but manufacturers are allowed to cherry pick certain features from HDMI 2.1 to bring to HDMI 2.0 based televisions. Now the article goes on to say that Samsung has further reduced the input lag on its 2018 TVs down to 15.4 milliseconds in game mode and also 7 milliseconds in variable refresh rate mode. In addition, Samsung will implement fast FRC which stands for frame rate compensation. Now this will allow users to use Samsung's motion compensation system together with a game console for an average of 24 milliseconds of input lag. Now this mode is also supported by the NU8000 and of course the entire line of the 2018 QLED TVs. Now the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X will be the first devices to support HDMI variable refresh rate and it will be added through a firmware update this year and of course FreeSync is supported by a large range of gaming PCs today. Now I really want to talk about the frame rate compensation mode. Now this will allow games that are 30 frames per second to be 60 frames per second and you're only going to get 24 milliseconds of input lag. Now unfortunately this generation and even in the refreshed Xbox One X, the CPU is still quite weak. Now most of the games run at 30 frames per second. Yes we have the occasional games that run at 60 frames per second but the majority of games run at at 30 frames per second. Now by using the frame rate compensation you will be able to enjoy 60 frames per second in your games. Now a lot of PC gamers always make fun of the console players because they're playing their games at 30 frames per second. So this is a most welcome mode to the television. Now there's a lot of TVs coming out this year. It is actually a great year to get TVs. The C8 which is the LG OLED model is also looking to be a fantastic TV. But for gamers I think they will be choosing the Samsung television for 2018. I think the variable refresh rate mode and of course the FreeSync technology will push a lot of gamers towards the Samsung televisions. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think so please leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.